Before using a generative AI tool, it's good to quickly learn some of the basic terminology so you can choose the best tool for you and use it effectively. In this lesson, I'll equip you with some key concepts in generative AI and give you examples from Adobe Firefly, which is a new family of creative generative AI models. You probably know that AI stands for artificial intelligence. Intelligence is usually associated with human tasks like doing math, remembering large amounts of data, playing chess, or creating things. And so artificial intelligence is simply the name for when computers are able to do those kinds of intelligent tasks well. Generative AI is a type of artificial intelligence that can translate your ordinary words and other inputs into unique new digital content, such as images, video, or audio. I think there's an exciting connection here between creativity and generative AI, because creativity is often defined as the ability to create something new, unique, and valuable. And that's also the goal of most Gen AI. This process of translating language into creations is made simple by using what's called natural language prompts. In other words, you can use simple sentences or phrases or natural language as if you were conversationally asking someone to make something for you. For many image creating AI interfaces, the experience is more like commissioning a piece of art. You describe what you want, get an image back, and then replace the request with a new or refined sentence or additional tags if the original output didn't match exactly what you had in mind at first. Gen AI also relies on a new breakthrough technology called diffusion models, which use data sets that include millions of labeled images. The images are then diffused or turned into a kind of super pixelated noise. The model then learns to turn that noise back into higher fidelity images that match the text prompt. The result is we're seeing Gen AI can mirror certain skills we often associate with human intelligence and creativity, such as writing original stories or poems, analyzing content, creating unique images or video, and so much more. You can use the exact same prompt a hundred times and you'll get a hundred different results. That's possible because of a technical parameter called random seed which makes every image generated a new, unique creation. A lot of Gen AI tools today use the same basic technology to power their results, but a key difference between them is what data the models were trained on, including where the training data came from, its quality, and how those affect the results. If you train an AI tool with low quality text or images, it's gonna then produce pretty crummy results. But unlike most other Gen AI image tools, which scrape the whole internet, Adobe Firefly was specifically trained on hundreds of millions of incredibly high quality, professional grade Adobe stock images, as well as public domain content where the copyright has expired. So with the right tool in hand, like Adobe Firefly, let's dive in and start creating.